water one afternoon and an eagle was flying beautifully above us. Couldn't help but notice how smoothly it soared over the blue sky. It's so different with the quacking ducks that constantly flap their awkward wings. An eagle, on the other hand, effortlessly glided upward only occasionally moving its wings. Creator God definitely designed the eagle with some unique features. Research revealed that the eagle has enormous wings that can reach over 7 feet in diameter, yet in contrast has a rather small heart that becomes weird with constant flapping. Since it takes a tremendous amount of effort for the eagle to flap its wings, and to conserve energy, young eagles are taught at an early age to soar on the wind thermals or upward current of warm air. Eagles are experts at picking out the correct wind thermals and may have to remain perched on a cliff or tree for days until the right current flows. Yet their patience will carry them up to great heights. In fact, eagles are the highest flyers of all birds and have been spotted soaring alongside airplanes at high elevations. All this additional information about eagles gives new meaning to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 which says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Or in another version says, But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Repeat that again. Will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. What a great promise right? But wait. There's a requirement. There's a condition. Listen to this. But those who wait on the Lord. Like the eagle, he will patiently wait for the right time. And he knows he cannot fly that high and cannot use his big wings if the timing is not right. We desire to soar but the waiting or hoping is the challenging part. In many ways, we are created like the eagle, blessed with gifts, but possessing feeble hearts. When we move in our own power and strength, we burn out, and eventually crash. Yet, Isaiah reminds us we are called to wait, hope, and trust in the wind of the Holy Spirit and learn to ride on his thermals to the places the Father is calling us. How often have we furiously and fervently flapped our wings, in order to keep up with a culture consumed by self-will, power, and promotion, only to be left weary and wounded? Our Lord Jesus, the Master of all flyers, displayed to us in the scriptures that He will not do anything apart from the will of the Father. And He would not start soaring until the Holy Spirit blew in at His baptism. We can read that in Luke chapter 3 verse 22 and chapter 4 verse 1. Aha! The wind of God is not like the ways of the world. Jesus knew the Father's kingdom could not invade a dark world through the ways of men, but only by the wind of heaven, as Zechariah prophesied in chapter 4 verse 6 which says, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit says the Lord Almighty. The truth about the eagle spoke to my heart, about the season of waiting in prayer for the mighty wind of the Holy Spirit to flow with revival power. To hope and trust in the Lord requires faith, patience, humility, meekness, long-suffering, obedience, and enduring to the end. God calls us to wait. He does it for His glory and to make us more like Jesus, whose whole life could be called a waiting game.